Hi, I'm Judy Swigert, the Superintendent of Schools here at Greater Latrobe. Uh, welcome. Um, it is August and um, we all recognize what happens in August, which is um, our students return to school. Um, we have been preparing for that um, in the last two months, June and July, and we hope that everybody is ready to return. Uh, one thing for parents, you will be getting the paw prints in the mail which has a lot of really important information for you as a parent as well as for your students. There's some things that we would ask that you complete, fill out, and so on. So when you get that, please take some time to look at it and review it and certainly call your building principal if you have any questions. Um, as far as the district goes, we have hired three new teachers to the Greater Latrobe School District family this summer, um, mainly through um, uh, people leaving to take jobs in other areas of the country. Uh, we have a new special education teacher at our junior high and two uh, new special education teachers at LES. Um, so we're excited about welcoming them as well as some other new employees um, in our support area which um, some of you will have contact with um, as we move through the year. So we welcome them. Um, some other things that are new to the school year this year, and I think you've heard about this if you've been to any of our board meetings or have seen the videos of our board meetings, uh, Greater Latrobe is participating in Project Lead the Way, which is a STEM initiative um, across the country, actually. We are very excited to be part of it. Um, it will be a K-12 venture for us. Uh, we have a teacher in each of our buildings, teachers in our junior and senior high school, who will be um, teaching Project Lead the Way courses or modules in our elementary buildings. These are all STEM related um, programs and courses and it is um, obviously in its infancy here at Greater Latrobe, but our teachers have spent time this summer in some rigorous professional development um, uh, to teach these courses, so we're really excited uh, about offering that to our students. Um, in addition, um, this summer uh, we have been talking about and continue to delve into the idea of career pathways and how we look at that at our secondary buildings as well as our elementary. Um, we know that our students are far more successful when they leave us as seniors um, having an interest or a career path as we call it. Um, we do know research tells us that students who leave us and um, do not have a plan, an interest path, um, something of that nature, it doesn't have to be specific, um, are probably, um, I don't want to say less successful, but maybe not as targeted as, as far as what they'd like to do. So we are uh, moving down this road. It is quite a venture for us. Um, we do work with um, this model, um, informally, um, but our process this year is to formalize it more and so students recognize um, uh, various courses and um, um, paths that they might have an interest in as they leave us uh, to help guide their future in higher education or careers or whatever they might choose to do leaving us. So those are some things that we're looking forward to um, during this year. At our July board meeting, as maybe most of you heard, um, uh, Access Architecture did a feasibility report for Latrobe Elementary School. This was something that the board had approved um, to be done about Latrobe Elementary School actually in 2014. And that report um, came back to the board last year. Um, in the re board retreat in May, they actually toured LES and um, had quite a detailed report uh, given to them as well as having seen it in the fall but really May was when they toured and looked at the items that were in the report. And so in July, um, Hank Kochek, who is the um, architect of record, um, did a report to the board and the public um, regarding some of the concerns um, about LES. Um, you may or may not be aware uh, that the school district has $180 million in capital assets uh, we have five elementary schools, our administration building, all of which um, we attempt to maintain to uh, keep um, to the level that we expect in our community. So when uh, Mr. Kochik did the report at LES, at the end there was two recommendations or two areas um, that were defined. One was to renovate um, Latrobe Elementary School and that cost was approximately $23.1 million and when you if you have an opportunity to watch the report on um, the community network 
or it's posted, the actual um, presentation is posted on our website as well, you will note um, many compliance issues, um, uh, just various things that structural mechanical issues with LES. Not surprising, the age of the building, etc. So um, that was the one um, point of discussion. The other was if the district would decide to build a new Latrobe Elementary School at a cost of about almost $29 million. And so either one of these are obviously quite expensive for the school district, um, but I think uh, Mr. Watson uh, did an excellent job also explaining how that could be financed for the district. Um, but in July, what we wanted to make sh clear for everyone is that there is a need at Latrobe Elementary School and one that needs to be addressed here at the district. And so um, what I would offer to anyone is, number one, to look at the presentation on the website, watch the presentation um, on the video if that's more convenient, because I think the information that's detailed is really informational and, and one that um, I think clearly highlights um, the needs at Latrobe Elementary. Um, moving forward, at the end of the meeting, um, the Buildings and Grounds Committee and the administration's recommendation is to have Latrobe Elementary School um, built new. Um, there has been some discussion as to sites and so on, but honestly, um, that is so in its infancy and the decision to uh, build, renovate, and so on needs to be made by the board before any of that occurs. Um, it is a huge project um, for the school district, um, but one in which we recognize that um, with the assets of $180 million, it's really our um, job our, um, our obligation to make sure that the needs of the students are met here at Latrobe, here at Greater Latrobe and specifically Latrobe Elementary School. Um, you may or may not be aware, Latrobe has um, this past year, I think um, Mrs. Holler said 808 students, um, which is actually our largest elementary school number wise um, compared to Bagley and Mountain View. They have about 650 to 700 students. Um, our numbers, enrollment-wise, were also outlined, as well as the area that LES serves. Um, and, and if you have happened to go onto the website, you'll see the map um, that Latrobe Elementary School serves, which was actually, I think, surprising to some um, in the sense that it goes out to Crabtree and so on. So um, that is one that, uh, moving forward, um, the board will continue to talk about and um, make decisions um, regarding that. So um, we're looking forward to that as well. Um, as always, um, if you have any questions or concerns or something individual to you or in with regard to the presentation or anything else that you see on the, um, at the board meetings, please feel free to give me a call. Um, I appreciate any input, any um, comments that you might have, um, as well as anybody on our team, certainly. So thank you very much. We look forward to the opening of school. Um, Take care. Thank you.